So immediately I saw this story and I wanted to do something like this. I've been thinking about doing videos like this for a while now just to get out those creative news storytelling type juices that just are never going to leave. It's always going to be with me. And this is just a quick way for me to do that. I miss storytelling. I have no interest in getting back into media. I have no interest in joining back or getting back into journalism, if you can even call it that these days, which it's not. But that's another video for another time. But I saw this today and it's making the rounds and I'm just blown away. I cannot believe what I've just seen and what I've just read. So anybody who knows me knows that I am a college football fanatic. I mean, that I'm a college football junkie. I love college football. Always have, always will. Anyway, one of the worst things to ever happen to college football was a man named Bobby Petrino. Bobby Petrino is a coach, was a coach. He doesn't have a job right now. He's coached the University of Louisville a couple of times, University of Arkansas once, uh, Western Kentucky University, and the uh, NFL's Atlanta Falcons. Apparently yesterday, he had a town hall type thing going on and at the University of Arkansas, Little Rock, at the uh, Touchdown Club or whatever. Oh, no. Let's go back. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm still learning here, so bear with me. I'm still, I'm still getting this together. So either way, Former uh, the USA Today. This is where we're getting this report today, and let's read it. Uh, former Louisville Bobby or Coach Bobby Petrino said he still wants to coach and praise Lamar Jackson and apologize for his, the scandal that cost him his Arkansas job during his first public comment since he was fired at Louisville last November. <laughs> for those of you now, I've read this article a little bit, and it really sugarcoats what happened and what's going on or what. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, USA Today, th they have so many ads and so much stuff going on. So my apologies, but their website is not helping me out at all. Either way. So Petrino, in his first big visit back to Arkansas since 2012, was interviewed Monday before a crowd of 700 at the Little Rock Touchdown Club where tickets sold out in 24 hours. He was not paid for his appearance. He doesn't have to be. The guy's a multimillionaire many times over. And he said, and I quote, I've always felt like football was a way of life for me, not a job, so I do miss it. I miss being around the players. I miss being, I miss trying to help players excel to become the best they could possibly be on and off the field. <laughs> this makes me laugh. This guy <laughs> recruited somebody that the university, when he was at Louisville, he recruited a guy that the University of Miami wouldn't even take. I'm not kidding you the university of miami this guy had seven felony records and bobby petrino still recruited him to louisville gave him an opportunity i don't understand <laughs> and he wasn't the only one bobby petrino recruited a lot of just not good citizens and we'll leave it at that anyway he's also revealed that he's writing a book about offense and left no doubts that he wants to coach again he said and i quote you know, the competitive spirit is still there. I'm trying to get myself in the best possible shape I can. If I get another opportunity to coach, I'm going to come out and do the best I can. So basically, here's the deal. He was fired in November, and he just... When Bobby Petrino was at Western Kentucky University, I had the chance... I'm not going to say opportunity because it wasn't an opportunity. Trust me. I Part of, part of my job that particular time, I interviewed him. He's a cocky, arrogant dick as most, a lot of football player, a lot of professional athletes are or aren't. Just cocky, arrogant. They don't like to ask questions about their stuff. You know, if they screw up in the teeny, they don't like to be scrutinized at all. Heaven forbid you scrutinize an athlete at a high level or a coach at a high level. Don't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Pay me, but don't scrutinize me. Pay me millions of dollars, but don't scrutinize me. At all. Anyway, not every coach or player is like that, but mostly. I was around it for 14 years, I know. Either way, <laughs> I, I'm just blown away because, and I'm going to get to the part that blows me away, but the fact that he 
feels like somebody's going to give him a job just makes me, it, it bewilders me. Let's see. So last season, UofL finished 2-8. and eight, And his last game, he lost, or they lost, 54-23 to 23 at Syracuse. Syracuse was not that good last year. I mean, they were good, just not that good. And the season stood as easily as Petrino's coaching career, the worst of his career. And the 2007 abbreviated and abrupt Atlanta Falcons departure aside. They're trying, USA Today is trying to spin this so well. But here's the part. This is, there's a lot, of, a lot of things wrong with this. In this day and age of Me Too, I'm not the the 25 year old or the young lady that he was having an extra extra marital affair with, man, extra marital affair with, and was with this young lady. She used to be a member of the UA volleyball team. I think she was working some kind of administrative role in the athletic department. Bobby Petrino used his influence in the position that he was in to have this affair. Now I'm not saying he forced her to do anything. It, you know. It looked like she was, you know, of her own volition and she was okay with it. But he also paid her off twenty grand, twenty thousand dollars. He paid this girl off, and she okay. the uh, The article says the firing came after Petrino. This firing at University of Arkansas. The firing came after Petrino was injured in a motorcycle accident involving his twenty five year old mistress, a former Razorbacks Foundation employee whom Petrino had hired four days before their accident and whom he had given twenty thousand dollars. Long said Petrino had misled him and the public about the relationship. <laughs> Petrino addressed the situation early in the interview. I want to be able to come here and apologize to everybody, the fans, the players, and I truly want you to know how sorry I am for the way it ended. No, he's not. He's sorry he got caught. The only reason he's apologizing is because nobody's given him a job, especially in this day and age of Me Too. Nobody wants to touch this guy. And if you're the University of Arkansas, if you're a fan, if you're administration, you would have nothing to do with this guy, right? wrong wrong we're talking about u of a fans i get it arkansas your program has not been relevant in a decade and i know an irrelevant football program when i see one so the state of sorrel on facebook she is a media personality she's a ua alumni she's a ua fan she posted this earlier today about two hours ago, Arkansas, would you take Petrino back and posted the basically the same article, but it's on a different website. And the fans are all about it. The fans want Petrino back easily. Ken Mayharg said, tough one, but if I really had to be pinned down, I'd probably have to say 65,000% yes. Wow. We'll get back to him in just a second. Yes, ma'am, I would. Didn't want him to get fired in the first place. Jill Norris, absolutely. And that's a woman. That's a female that said that. David and, and and the thing is, is that State of Sorrel, she she liked that comment. David Brown, yes, his personal business, his personal life is none of anyone's business. Wrong again. Uh, once you get into the public eye, you have no personal business. You you just don't. I don't agree with that. But you don't. You are fair game. Now you're not. It's not fair to bully somebody, but it, it, they open themselves to be fair game. <laughs> okay. Statosaur also liked that comment. One person out of the eight that's commented has said no, but everybody else. So you're basically at like 80% of the fans, 75% of the fans, they want him back. And this guy, this <laughs> who said 65,000% yes, he's, his justification is, I mean, thanks to our current commander in chief, Petrino should have any job he wants. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, blaming Trump. Uh, uh, he's getting... <laughs> If you don't want Trump running your country, why would you want him running your football program? I don't get it. You, good Lord, Ark. You know, I'm a Kentucky fan and I can't stand Kentucky fans, but I love University of Arkansas fans because they're just so clueless. They are as, 
<laughs> they are as clueless as it comes. And this is hilarious. This guy, he's worse than Rick Pitino in some ways. I mean, Rick Pitino's extramarital affair, at least it was with some old hag. I mean, it wasn't a 25-year-old hot chick. And he didn't use his position of he didn't use his position with somebody who was actually in the U of L program. This guy did. And it's terrible. Why would you, this guy left the, he's left the university of Louisville program twice in shambles. He quit the Falcons because he couldn't hack it. And on top of that, he quit in the most cowardly way. He left like a note on the door or on the, uh, desk of the owner or something like that. He couldn't even look the guy in the face when he quit. And, and University of Arkansas fired him because he had an extramarital affair with somebody he tried to pay hush money to, who used to be a student athlete. What is, why would you want this guy back, especially in 2019? The game has passed him by. Recruiting has passed him by. He's terrible. He's the worst. University of Arkansas fans and University of Louisville fans, you deserve better. Don't settle for this. I know you want to turn your football program around. I get it, but no, not this way, and especially in the SEC or SEC West. It wouldn't work out. He'd be gone in maybe two years. He he's just he's a terrible human being. He or he's a terrible football coach. And he's an even worse human being. You don't want that. He is a cancer. You've already cut him out. Don't let him metastasize to the back into the situation. Okay, leave the cancer out. All right, that's going to do it for this one. I will rejoin you all next time.